and uh, welcome everybody, welcome everybody to RVT. This is RVT Rashid's video tour in conjunction with RJC Rashid's Music Jukebox Center. And I am Rashid R Man coming on live on social media, Google Plus, YouTube, Instagram, and other social media platforms. Yeah, glad you guys are here. Uh, welcome to another episode of Table Talk. It's good to be back. I've been away for a while. We've been away for a while, sweetie. Is that right? So, I have to get used to everything a little bit. Took a little time off. Actually, I had computer problems. And I've decided to make a move on a decision about this uh, computer. But you don't need to worry about that until it happens. So I've been quite busy being the electronic repair person, or shall I say the cyber repair person, repair person, repair, repair, repair person. And what's interesting about that is how simple it is to repair. Some things, though I, I must admit, takes a while to do it. But once it's done, thank goodness, thank the saints, it's done, you know. So I've been away for a while, and a lot of, I know a lot of speculation and thinking been going on as to uh, my whereabouts, the time I was away. And like I told you, I want y'all to do me a favor, if, um, if I ever, ever leave, I don't want y'all to leave me. I will always come back and let you guys know what's going on. The stats. So you can check the stats and I can let you know what's happening. And uh, the thing was computer issues. That was that was the problem. So it wasn't really vacation, vacation. It turned to vacation. We found out we, yeah, what we're going to do about the situation. That's when it turned to a vacation. And it was a good vacation. It was, it was a nice little time off. Um... And like I said, the hardest part is getting back into the game. Got some interesting shows. Speaking about getting back, um, getting back, getting back into the interest into the game. I have some shows coming up. I have Generation of Repentant. It's coming up still. And I also have another episode of Dragonfly. The continuation of that coming up still also. And of course, it's the Rashi and Jan show. And I need you guys to be patient for that. Now, what this show, this table talk, you know, on this show right here, we I specialize on Rashi topics of the shows that we do around here and their meanings, if, if we're missing anything, per se, of... Of, defi of, 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 of defining what they are, what, what it's about, what the shows are about, primarily. And on here, we, we go into depth, depth more than, like if I was talking on a Rashid, on a Rockcast. You know, we go into more detailish aspects of shows and stuff on Table Talk. Along with other topics. Along with other topics. Now I came up because of the new year. And happy new year to everyone. I hope you have a, a very interesting new year. A fruitful new year. And I hope your harvest is great. I also have spiritual lecture coming up. I didn't forget about that as well. I know that. There's a lot of spiritual people listening to me, and I provide us for entertainment as such. And I, and you know we really need a spiritual lecture around here. I just, when I do my spiritual lectures, I just want it to be the right time. Because I want your undivided attention. And I feel as though that sometimes it's not the right time for me. 
you know, to, to give a spiritual lecture. And the thing about that is, yeah, the funny thing about that is that off the air, I'm doing all this talking about spiritual, you know, with my cult, my spiritual group, I, I do a lot of talking about um, uh, speeches, to, uh, well, about what's going on now, and, and, I, and I, I really need to put this stuff on the air. But on the air, I'm, it's watered down, and, and it's hard for me to go from talking very defined, when it comes to the scriptures too okay this is social media I have to water it down so people can understand and I'm not going to say is 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 baby but it is milk it is undulterated milk because I have to speak on terms because some of y'all don't know about religion at all just listen to me and I want to reach everybody so it's hard for me to talk all of this the spiritual meat that I produce around here and then yeah I come on the air and it's like I gotta talk in this uh, this lack the, 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 this, this lactatish way because people are not spiritually inclined so it's kind of difficult so I have to really take the time out to to do that so I want you guys to understand that I need you guys to realize that and it's not that I'm slacking those spiritual lectures that I have, that I did, are still up on my Google page. And y'all can listen. The more you listen to it, the, you always get something different out of it. So I hope that's been keeping you company. I have another one coming up soon. Is what that, That's what I'm trying to say. So until then, please just stick with what I have up there thus far. But in no way am I neglecting uh, spiritual appetites getting fed. Because that's a no-go. That's a no-go. Alright, now, moving on with things. I came up with 10 Rashid's Will of Personality that I did the, the last time we did the Rashid Will of Personality. And I came up with 10 changeable aspects that we around here are going to work on. Me, but they do what I do, so it's kind of a we thing. Um, and we're going to do it because it's the new year. And like I said, I really hope you guys are really starting off the right foot on the new year. Um, it's not much going on. I mean, it's a lot of killing. They're keeping track of all the killing that's going on of of the new year comparing it to last year and things like that and I just feel as though it's like like Jesus man I mean I mean it's a we starting off we starting off on a crazy fucking note when it comes to uh the violence that's happening now uh because of the new year and, and the violence is just is really insanely crazy if you look if you listen to the reports about the, the you know the new year the the people acting just fucking retarded well just stupid ass I'm not even gonna say retarded but you get what I'm saying and there's just no need for all this stupid shit. so that's just something we have to deal with you know it's just something we have to deal with but on another note I've been seeing. <clears throat> They have this thing that I think that I like. I want to share with you guys. They, Geico says vote for your favorite Geico commercial. And I don't know. I just. Yeah we was talking about that around here. And Geico is one of the most. Is the funniest commercials that ever hit the airwaves. As far as I'm concerned. In a long long time. And if I had to vote. Because I don't have time to do it. We thought about it. I don't have time but. All of them are really good. I mean, I don't remember one Geico commercial with shit that's bad. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All of them are good. All of them are funny as hell. And if and if they didn't make you chuckle, you still got it and got humor inside from watching. I don't know who write that stuff, but they sure need to step forward and do some kind of shows or whatever. Because they are the funniest 
writers and, and producers I ever seen in a long fucking time, dude. We are talking really funny. But they got this thing, you can vote for your favorite Geico ad. And I would have to say all of them, yeah. We had to say all of them are good. All of them are funny, dude. I, can't, I don't even know what good one. It was all of them just hilarious as hell. But, um, if there's other things also going on this New Year's also, but I just can't, I can't call them the mind. But anyway, without further ado, if I come up with anything, y'all know I'll let you know and, 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 and so forth. How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, guys. Though, I must admit, I feel a little bit of less, how can I, creative these days. Because, I'll tell you why. Uh. I'll tell you why. Because of change. Now the change that we're going to go through is change we have to make. But at the same time, things are different than the way they used to be when I first, like, we, don't forget, even though I'm on social media and all, you can't run from the fact that time is going by. You know, time is going by here on social media. Nothing's going to say, you know, time changes, guys. You know, time change. And the situation in social media changed. The way you looked at people on social media changed. If the people themselves didn't change, times change. I'm still the same guy, and I told you, I don't change. I'm going to be the same way. But yet and still, the scene changed. Not only on social media, but around the world, period. And because of that, I'm just less, I feel less creative. I know for a fact, 100%, that my creative juice is going to go piping hot again. This incident that took place on RVT piped me down a little bit because I'm real hyper and then Okay, now I got computer troubles. Because y'all know I was going to do another Rashid Christmas special. If you was paying attention to RVT. On my Google page. We was with it. And I took it down. I started getting vibes. I started hearing the oh, it's too rich. You know, when something's too sweet, it's too rich. Because, and then I felt better about it. I said, okay, Bob Hope. Never did like two fucking Christmas specials, dude. He did one. He thought, well, I got to do it. So, okay. I took that Christmas special down. Right after that, I started having computer problems. And that really slowed me down. Like, you know, calm down kind of thing. You know, there's no rush with nothing. So, that calmed me down. That really, really calmed me down. Now I'm back on the air. I have to get the juices flowing again, which is no, which is no goddamn problem, dude. You know, which is no problem. But I must admit, yeah, that's the point. That's what I'm trying to say. Is I must admit, I'm not gonna say I'm less motivated because I have to motivate myself. I don't get my motivation, motivation. My, I don't get the ah, shit. I don't get my goddamn motivation from anything in particular unless I'm watching something that's in courtness of what I'm doing. That's when I get motivated. And in turn, I motivate my kids, my, my, um, yeah, my partner here. But the point is, I get it from other, you know, avenues. I get it from, I get my motivation from other avenues. And I, and, and those avenues, and I'm feeling less motive, you know, I, I, the, the motivation thing, I'm feeling less, I, I'm always motivated because I'm always getting motivated because the stuff we look at motivates me. That's not, it's just, it's just the creativity part to me. It's the creativity part. 
that's really I have to get a hold of the creativity part and having the subscribers I have have it, it's, it plays a part in me really uh, moving me to be creative thinking about you guys they come around and listen to me and stuff like that because we have a, lo a long way to go and not only do we have a long way to go, there's so much I want to show y'all and there's so much I want to do with you guys. And with that in mind, y'all have to be patient. Like I have to add, you know, be patient. It's very important. But yet and still, when you're less create creative, creative, I won't say necessarily you slow down. But you just lay back a little bit. You know, you just lay back just a little bit. So, <clears throat> so I'm not making excuses. It's just, you know, when it's so, like when I first did the Rashid YouTube radio show. Now it's going back three years, almost four years. That's a while, guys. That's almost like a sentence for somebody who, who had like a a, a, a firearm or something like that. He gave five years when he used to. I mean, that's day and day and then a prison sentence. And that's been a fucking while, man. The the world scene is not the same too. You know, it's like it's just changed now. It's more ghetto now and. Even the stuff that don't look ghetto is, is ghetto. And it's like, I can't really, people can't really relate to my shit. So it's like, I'm not getting less mo like, l l less creative that way, but less my, less my creativity, I'm trying to make it so people understand it. But I ain't going that route. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going, we're not going that fucking route. That's the thing about it. We're not going that fucking route. And it's like, well, I got to come up with some kind of fucking shit here. Because I'm not going that route. Dude. So I'm coming up with all these ideas. I think I'm, we're going to just go the opposite way. That's what we discussed. I'm gonna just, we might as well just go the opposite way. And just be stupid asses. Because I, it's not happening, guys. I, you know, I'm, I'm never, you know, I'm, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. So just expect that. You know, things not to change and, and and stuff like that because I can't do it. And I'm not going to. And I'm not going to. So, without further ado, I think it's time for us. Let's just get the show started. Okay? Let's get the show started. And once again, I am so sorry if I'm not because I'm going to just get more stupider. What I'm trying to say is I'm going to get more stupider than before. Because I'm reaching a point now, I got no choice. I just want to just enjoy myself and not impress nobody. I'm not here to impress nobody. I'm here to have fun with you guys. So, just prepare for stupid as shit, dude. Because I can't fuck around with that. Whatever's going on now. Just, just showing off bullshit. I just can't do it. So, here we go. Take a look at the, the this is Rashid's Will of Personality. Yes. Yes, da da. And fuck and shit. New year, new changes. And here's Rashi's ten list of changes I have to do to myself. We gonna now, y'all know how this go. Y'all remember this from last time. Last time I had them written down crookedly, as you see, it, it, it got a yeah. We we uh, what do you call it? A uh, a, a what? When you when you renew something or some shit, update it. Yeah, we we'll update it. Yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> update it. Oh fucking shit. Um, all right. So we got ten right here. We're gonna go through each one. These are things I'm gonna check. I don't. This is why I don't believe. This is why I say fuck the resolution. When y'all saw that on my Google page, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions because you're not resolution. You're not resoluting anything to me. You're not resoluting anything. What the, the whatever you into, that's who you are. So it can't be resoluted. So that's what we believe around here. That's why I don't believe in that New Year's resolution. But I do 
believe in changes. So around here we say new year, new changes. And Rashid do things his way. Rashid's way. Okay. Now up here I have 10. I have 10. And we're going to start by going to each one. And these are the things that we around here are going to change. That we're going to work on. That I'm going to work on. They're going to follow me. I'm there. I'm father. So let's begin. Okay. Preppier. I looked in. A, I looked up fucking the word preppier. And I don't think it's a word preppier. Anybody that's listening. That's fucking illiterate. Who likes words and shit. I don't see the word preppier. I, don't, I, never, I didn't come across that. So I, I invented it. I guess so. I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a, a word. Preppy is not a word. Is prep? Is a. I think prep is a word, but preppier. I don't think that's a word. So, I put it up there, because that means it belongs to me. If it's not a word, so be more preppier. That means, guys, I have to be more tidy. I'm a. I won't say. I'm a disgrace in my tidiness. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying I have to be more organized either. But I have to be more. How should I say? Yeah, that that's one. Um, um, yeah, yeah, that's one collective. That's that's a good one, sweetie. But but still, we gotta be more tidy. You know, we got to be more tidy because one thing. Uh, the, this uh, work housework is a pain in the ass and that's why people have housekeepers you understand that they, that's why they have housekeepers So because they ain't got to worry about that it's still a pain in the ass it's still a pain in the ass you know everybody can't be job at the fucking hut dude you know it would be nice to be job at the some people like to exercise and, and all of these things like, and that's on my list also but Everybody can't be fucking job the hut. You gotta work. It's called work. You got to work to be more prepper. Yeah, that's something that I have to work on this year to be more prepper. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to it. Also, just for the hands up about that, I'm really looking forward to that to be more prepper. Second one, which is a. That's A. Uh, for y'all. And and I want to say also. On this. Um, Rashi Wheel of Personality. That it would be cool. If you guys can take notes. Have like a. Make a Rashi list for yourself. Because we will be discussing. Some really interesting things on here. I'm letting y'all know now. And taking notes. Is a sure fire way. Fine way. Of you guys not forgetting anything we've discussed here. This is like a coffee, tea, or whatever you drink, preferably. Show. There's no rush or so forth like that. We just get to relax. Okay. So you can take notes because I, I have my um. Yeah, we have our baby. You got yours over there. I got this clipboard over here. Here's mine. And these are things that we can really work on ourselves. Because I'm starting to like these top ten list things that we we talk about. Okay. Where's my pen at for Christ's sake? I just okay, hang on. So be more preppy. I'm gonna do I'm we had I'm gonna do that this year. This year. So that's A. B two. B two is on the screen is B. Is be more health conscious. I can't give up my cigarettes. I, I See, that's a problem with this. If you don't... See, here's the thing about cigarettes. Here's the thing about cigarettes. Here's the thing about cigarettes. If you smoke, the cigarettes are very delicious. They're soothing. They're satisfying. But once you quit smoking... Once you quit smoking and go back around smoke, they smell disgusting. They smell horrible. You say, I can't believe I was smoking that shit. 
that's just the way it is for every anybody who quit smoking and go back around it. They say that it's, it's disgusting. For, for people that don't smoke, that's the way it is. It's you smell it, you say you can't stand the smell of it. You don't give a fuck what name brand it is. It stinks. It, it fucking it reeks. We got that. But it takes understanding of people that do smoke. It tastes good to them. It tastes really good to them. Now, theoretically, I'm gonna be honest. I smoke pipe tobacco also. Not now because I'm on the road and whatnot. But I don't give a fuck. Pipe tobacco smells good even when you don't smoke to me. Only pipe. Not cigars. Not cigarettes. But I'm talking pipe tobacco smells good. Now, I don't know what your intake on it and your thoughts on it. But it just smells fucking good. It does. And it's too bad you don't smoke pipe tobacco like cigarettes and a cigar. You just don't. Because it goes out quick and you're just in, inhaling the fumes. And I, I, in my eyes, it's kind of safer. In, in my eyes, it's kind of safer. But yet, still, you got to understand when you're a smoker, that that minute you're smoking, it tastes really, really good. And if you smell it, it tastes good to that person, even though you don't understand it. It really tastes amazingly good in the morning, after dinner, and so forth. Now, I'm not saying I'm never going to quit smoking. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying right now, it's just one of my things that I, I just, it's one of my things. It's just what I do. But, but be more health conscious about, because I, I just had a doctor's appointment. And we got a discussion about, you know, this and this. And, 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 and we got to, I got to take care of uh, my health and all. And she gave me uh, uh, patches to help stop smoking. And speaking of help stop smoking, I want y'all to look at something. Maybe this can help you from stop smoking, all right? If anybody out there that's smoking all this shit, just look at this. Maybe this can help you stop smoking. Now, let's take a look. That's what I like about these um, UK, um, thanks, British, or is it, or Thank is you. it um, Australia? I don't know. Thanks. I think it's Britain. But they, they they came up with some interesting techniques to get you hip to how important it is to stop smoking and all that stuff. And y'all know on here I ain't gonna make nobody feel comfortable and all that because I smoke. I smoke right off the fucking back. I'm telling you, I smoke. So. But it's just interesting that the, 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 just check this out and see how they go about getting My people to stop smoking. It's just an interesting thing to check this out and look I at. need hundreds of new slaves every day. Slaves of old nicotine. Cigarette smokers to you. My aim is to catch them young. Animation is always fun It is. It, animation. Animation will always be fun to look at, no matter what they talk talking about. Here they come. It'll always be fun, and it's eye-catching also. Hey there. Have a smoke? No, thanks. Go on, try one. All right, then, thanks. Here, help yourself. Even though it's sad they don't do animation like this for me, we still got it around RVT, we still got it around here. Hey, what's this? Where are we? Look, that says fag out. Did you did you see that? That's it, fag out. Rewind that. Rewind. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Rewind that. Now look. All right. Look at this shit. Fag out. But that 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 means that that don't mean, that, that mean homosexual. That name trying to say homosexual. But it's just a trip how the fuck they got that in here like that. Fang, uh, uh, Ali. This, what the fuck, dude? I mean, I, it, I know, this? I know. They just say, "Oh, I feel gay this morning." You know, people don't talk like that no more and shit. You know. Look, my fingers and your teeth. I 
mind yours. What oh, breath poor. So what? Well, I don't like it. I'm going back. You have to grow up sometime. It's not like they say, give us a fag, give us a fag, give us a fag, boy, it's give us a pack. I don't think they say give us a fag, they say give us a pack, but it says, it's not, yeah, give us a fag, give us a fag. That's crazy shit. You can get, if you smoking weed, you'll get real confused watching this shit, dude. It'll fuck with your head, like one of them trips they did to the troops when they came back. And damn acid slipped through some acid. It'll be, hey, it'll be smoke weed and watch me a light. this. I doubt if it'll help you stop smoking though. Here's some light. But it'll fuck with your head. Like you Have know, Sergeant year. Pepper and shit. Like that type of shit. Alright, but, but you, get, you get what the thing is talking about. I don't want to talk about all that. How it's bad for you and all that shit. And most like, of them are yeah. killers. Are you I don't want to talk about how it's bad for you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make y'all to feel that way people to smoke. And y'all like, oh, I got to watch this shit. Cause it's bad. I know it's bad for you. You're going to detail about shit. Don't go in a. They say Quincy. Ain't no more Quincy TV shows and shit. Don't go into detail about fuckers. I know it's bad. No, do anybody talk about you drinking that coffee? That's not good. Fucking up your teeth. Putting on a caffeine, shrinking your balls, and, and shrinking your uterus. Nobody talking about that caffeine bullshit. So don't come out here talk, going in definition about the shit. All right, people who smoke know it's bad. You gotta deal with it. That's it. We, we know. We, we know. We got it. We got it. Talk about coffee, okay? Yeah, talk about that caffeine bullshit. That's a drug, dude. So, enough with the fucking shit. Be fair about shit. Go up in them 7-Elevens and Wawa's and hit that bitch up look like you sucking in a glass dick. So, so, you know, don't don't go too far and shit. Everybody got their fucking habit. So, anyway, um, B2, be more health conscious. Be more health conscious. Alright, C3, it's the next one. C3, be more satisfied. That was an interesting cartoon thing. It was. Because they use those cartoons to educate people, you know. To educate people. Um, it was a quick note of, of getting people informed why they should stop smoking and all of this, this other stuff, you know. And it was a good way to get people to stop uh, smoking and smoking uh, cigarettes. And it worked. Or they wouldn't, it, or, yeah, that's what I'm saying, or it wouldn't be popular you know, the way it is today. Be more satisfied is the next one. That's that will be C three. Now of course I'm going alphabet and I'm getting I'm I'm going numeral and alphabet. That's C three. That's on your screen which is three. Be more satisfied. I have to be more satisfied. We have to be more satisfied. You have to be content. I have to be I have to be uh, I have to be Myself, I have to be fucking more content with what I have and shit because John, because Johnny next door and shit has something that I want. Now the scriptures say never want from your fellow man. It's a sin to do that. If that means if somebody has something and you loan to have it for yourself, that's a sin. God said you should not desire anything that your fellow man has. 
primarily I think because he provides every he God provides for everybody their measure what they can handle and he won't let you be pressured or tempted beyond what you could bear but along with the you know y'all know but along with the temptation God will provide a way out for you you know we got that but to be more satisfied it's kind of a hard thing to do in this age of right sweetie that's what I'm saying and we have enough I know we have we do have enough and that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about if you give me a chance sweetie Right. Because I have to be satisfied with what I have, you know, what I have. I can't worry about this and this and this and this. I can't think like, <clears throat> I don't look at nobody's shit and say, okay, I want that over there. I wish I had that over there. I look at my own stuff and say, it would be nice to be, it would, it would be nice to have. Or even be in a position better than what I am. I'm not being satisfied or content with, you know, where I'm at, where I'm at, you know, like the time errors that we're, we're living in now, compared to the time errors that once was, like this commercial right here, for instance, this commercial right here, I'm, I'm content about this time era we're living in, but damn, it would be nice to go back and live in shit like that. Friends will feel mighty welcome when you bring out Mackenzie's Butter Pecan Pound Cake, only $1.89 this weekend. Mackenzie's fine, silky pound cake with luscious butter pecan flavoring topped with crunchy choice pecans. Just the aroma is enough to set mouths watering. You'll want several slices. Mackenzie's Butter Pecan Pound Cake, only $1.89. It'll melt in your mouth. Stop by your neighborhood bakery. Mackenzie's, you taste the difference. Everything was more simpler. There was less people in your face acting like fucking monkeys. Saying that we got, y'all don't got, and all this other shit. Everything, everybody, in other words, every, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everybody was people back then. Everybody was normal people back then. Everybody was normal people. Right, that's the point. Everybody was normal people. It would be nice to go back then where there was no such thing as showing off. You just... See your product, and I say you ain't shake your ass, and say, I got this and shit like that that we have now. Being more satisfied of where we living at and how we living, and not longing for it to be in a better position, I have to be more of that this year. I have to really be more of that this year, because it will help me. Do it. it will really, really help me. Um. Be more content. It would. It, it would really help me. But you know, even even if you have, they, 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 like I always say, I always say, they always say, be careful what you wish for. That's bullshit. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. I always thought that was bullshit. And I always will. If I wish for something, I get it. I'm happy. What the fuck? What the hell are you talking about? See, shit like that. Don't try to drill that. See, it's no, it's empty word philosophy is what I call it. It's, it, it's no meaning to it. You might as well be cursing. You say Rashid curse. I use swear words. Well, if you say stuff like that, it's the same thing. Be careful what you wish for. You just like, it's the same thing. You're teaching me that if I get what I wish... I'm going to be unhappy. That's what you're teaching me. If that's the case, then why not what I want in the first place? I mean, you know, all of these things, you might as well be cursing. Cursing is empty words also. Although they're um, highlighting your emotions more. Because that's all curse swearing is. That's all it is. So, you, might, you believe in if you wish for something, you're going to regret it. I mean, that's part of life if, the, if that happens. That's what I'm saying. If that happens. If, the, if, if that happens. That's part of life. You get drunk. You go for a drink. I've got to get drunk. I want to get drunk. Give me a drink. Then all of a sudden, you grace spit up. You're going to wish you didn't get it. That's part of life. That's an example right there. That's an example right there. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have got drunk. Now I'm great Earl. Her on a fucking, uh, fucking shit. You will wish you wouldn't. That's just part of life. 
or I eat something. Now I gotta take a shit, and now I'm constipated or I got diarrhea. You gonna wish you wasn't in there. That is the right there. That's part of life. So don't tell me if I wish I would regret it. Bullshit. Okay, especially the kind of money. Don't don't do that. I must be a poor person that wrote, that wrote that shit. Now, or a rich person. I think it was a poor person that came out with that bullshit. Maybe it's a rich person that wished they was poor. And became poor and said, I should have never done this. So maybe it is a rich, an ex-rich person that wrote that. That came out with that. Be careful what you wish for. You just might. It's an ex-rich. That's what it is. It's an ex-rich person. They wrote that and that's in a fucking shit. Now, the next one we have is D4. Four. four. Be more patient. Patience is the key. Be more patient. Everything will come in its due time. I keep telling myself, now listen. Be more patient, number four. I keep telling myself, everything will come in its due time. But yet, that's not good enough for me. I still want things. We live in a here and now time era. Everything we want right away and shit. You know, wait. Shit, it, it's just I want it now. Like well, everybody's fucking Veruca Salts ever since the social media came out and shit. Everybody's Willy Wonka, that little girl. I want today. I want tomorrow. For da, 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 da. everybody like that now. All of a sudden, and that's why I watch TV. That's why I watch that bullshit on TV, that Netflix shit. That's why I watch it because everybody like that. Veruca Salts. I might as well watch Willy Wonka and watch Veruca Salts because everybody changed to her. Parents, kids, all of the house. Everybody fucking Veruca Salts now. It's a Veruca Salts disease all around this motherfucker. Ever since social media came out. Especially if you're a YouTuber. All Veruca Salts. They got their families in their videos. But still, I want today. I want tomorrow. This is my shit. I just, you know. Everybody see it. Everybody see the shit. So... I have to learn not to get the Veruca Salts disease. We, around here, have to learn not to get right, the, the Veruca shit. Because patience is the key. See, without patience, I know I don't get what I want exactly the way I want it. But still, I have to work on being patient. I have to work on being patient. We, around here, have to work on being patient. And that comes in the number four. I have to be, I have to really work on being patient. A, B, C, D, E, five. This on the screen, number five. Be more steadfast and ready. We live in an anything can happen world at any time any given time anything can happen anything we have to be ready at all times and we find ourselves slacking like for instance you gotta make sure you got fresh batteries in your smoke alarms if you got uh, radon detection shit you gotta make sure that's up to par you know, you got to be ready just in case something happens. You have to check your fire extinguishers, making sure they're up to par. It's all law. You don't want the fire marshal coming over your shit, fucking you up. I have to be more ready and steadfast around here, which everything is up to par around here. I have to get batteries for the smoke alarm. And these things, we, we got to do these things. I got to be more ready, steadfast punctual just in case something happened we didn't know right, we all of a sudden so anything can happen guys your house can catch on fire what you're going to do you got to back up you know we have to think about these things just to be more steadfast considering these things along with our current situation and that's something i got to work on this year also see this is different than having a new year's resolution this, I went further the length of 
making these changes for this year I have to work on. Rather than a resolution. I can't fuck with that. That's my little... Yeah, that's when I was a child. The resolution shit. I, now I'm older, I go out like this. I want to really buckle down and being a better person. I want to be the better man. I want to be the better person. I got to. I got to, man. Because, you know, I ain't got no role models no more. All my role models did in Hollywood. All my shit did. All my shit fucked up. And I don't appreciate this bullshit we living in. I don't appreciate it, but... There's nothing changing. It's just getting worse. So, I got to make something like this to keep me on track. I got, I have no goddamn choice. If I had role models, it'll be easier. If I had some positive commercials that's on, look at, whatever, it would be easy. But I don't have them. So, it's going to take a little bit of work on my part to, to make these... Um, of changes on Rashid's will of personality. That's why I got it. Because we really got to help each other. That's why I'm encouraging you guys to take notes if you want. It's good that you take notes. Because I have my notes right here. And, uh, and it's important to... There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. A, B, C, D, E, F, which is six. Be more accepting, which goes on around C, three, satisfied, meaning accept that. Be more accepting is the next one, the six. Then it goes along with three, satisfied. I have to accept what, what situation I am in life and not be bitter about it. You know, everybody, I've realized that everybody is living the cards that dealt to them since birth. Rather than spiritual or not, everybody's living the way, the what cards is dealt to you. You know, this is a must. Or we wouldn't be in this situation. Sometimes we put ourselves in a situation. Or we wind up in a situation. Either or we're still in a situation. I have to be more accepting of my position where I'm at and satisfied and accepting because only then I can produce rich fruit of of my of, of what I want to do later on. See I have to like my past. If I accept where I, I am today then I can say, I really accept my past. Tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, I can say, I, can, I accepted my past. And that will make me a better person as to see in my future. See, it all, it's all connected. It's all intertwined with living life in a different way than what you're living. In. So I know that I have to be more accepting of myself. Rather, if it's good or bad. And just know that it's, it could always be worse. No matter what situation I'm in. It could always be worse. You know. But we live in a time period. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Grace. Say that it's very hard to do. You know, to accept who you are and in and, and the situation you're in. You don't, you don't want to do that shit. It's easy just to grab an excuse and say, no, it's your fucking fault. Or it's your fucking fault. But if you accept it, you're leaving yourself a clearer vision to correct what later on what you not what you don't like now. If you just accept which is almost like saying you're not gonna ever change from smoking or eating if you don't accept you have a problem. Then when you say, Okay, I have an eating problem, I have a smoking then you can see steps being formed. You know, it's the same way of accepting your position of how you live in your life or what situation you're in. Accepting, okay, I accept who I am. No matter what position I, I accept it. Because that way, it's the same way of, of you seeing clear or making changes. And being content when you can see you can make the changes that you want to make. So I have to learn that more this year of being a more accepting just because I want the TV to be a certain way or whatever. I have to accept everything around me. 
the way it is now. And maybe, and just maybe this year will be better than last year. Just fucking maybe, dude. But I'll never, I'll never know unless I try. Unless we try around here. So I hope that's helping you guys out. You know, who fucking knows, dude. But I know one thing. It's hard to accept. And things never change like that. Why not say, okay, I accept and see what happens. You better off doing that than staying stuck in one place. What I got to lose. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. More accepting. Yeah, I know. I know. And the next one, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, which is 7, G, be more focused on the person I want to be. Be more focused on the person I want to be is what I want to do this year. I'm a broadcaster. I'm a broadcaster. You got some people out here saying, what school did you go to? Oh, this person must be a certified broadcaster. See, you can be anything you want in this world. What sets you apart is the certification. But you can be anybody you want to be, dude. If you say you Daffy fucking Duck or Mickey Mouse, you can be that. But is that certified like your birth certificate? See, certification makes it legal. It makes it, you know, your position legal. But don't say real. Real is, is, is the, the word we want to stay away from. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I'm a broadcaster. You say you may say, yeah, but you're not a real broadcaster. Number one, social media, if you're on the air like this, we're on the air. I'm broadcasting myself to social media. I'm international. RVT is international. It's an international station. <clears throat> Some channels are not international on social media. RVT, this is an inter that means I have fans all over the world. Rashid had fans all over the world. We do, sweetie. We have fans all over the world. I'm international. That still doesn't make me a real broadcaster. What makes me a real broadcaster is because not only do, do I say, did I say, do I say I'm a real broadcaster, but I'm pursuing it. That's what makes me a real broadcaster. But then again, there's that word again. When somebody approaches you not a real this or real that, what exactly are they saying? Certification. Oh, I took up uh, this in college and stuff like that. And I, I took up a, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. What if I worked in a restaurant? And my job in the restaurant was prep sandwich bread. That means when I get a piece of bread, I have to put something on it, like a mayonnaise, mustard, or what have you. Right beside me, it's a it's a person. It's a person from a culinary a culinary what's that word culinary a, a, a food college. Right beside me, we both prepping sandwiches, and I asked the guy. From a college, a food college. Why are you in this restaurant like this? If you so degreed, you have a degree in chef in chefing or what? what oh, because he he say, oh, I fell on hard times and I gotta grab what I can right now. Now, are you gonna say that I'm not a real cook and he is? I'm not a real chef or whatever and he is because he has a college. He fell on hard times and he had to grab a job quick. Okay? He has his degree in, in chefing, what have you. Catering, catering. And here I am, I just walked off the street and got the job. Now we both stayed in side by side. The question is, is he a real prepper, cooker, caterer than me? And we're doing the same thing. And we working in like a buffet restaurant. You see the point? It's just a title. 
You can be anything you want to be. Anything you want to be. But you got to pursue that and become that. Then you're that. You may not be certified because you don't have nothing stating you are on record. But that doesn't mean that you're not that. If that's what you are, if that's who you are, that's what you do. Seven is be more focused on the person I want to be. I still say I want to be it. I'm an artist and I still say I want to be a better artist. I'm never content. A real artist is never content. Never. You're going to learn that from Stan Lee. The Marvel uh, uh, wizard. The king. Who died. And in my opinion. Laughed at everybody. When he died. He laughed at everybody. And this is how I know he laughed at everybody. He laughed at everybody because... He changed his whole fucking... He made Spider-Man black. I mean, he didn't say anything about any of this stuff. He, he created Spider-Man. Then he becomes black. I mean, like... I'm, I, the dude called me a Downton Thomas. But I know he has something to say about I don't know. I'm not saying that it's a race thing. It's a race issue or whatever like that. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. But all I'm saying is... If that's the case, then why didn't he make, why wasn't, so nobody create, didn't they create like a spider, a, 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 a man spider, instead of spider man, reverse a man spider, and made a whole new character for a black, uh, for a brother. Why didn't they do that? Why you got to be up in his shoes, Peter Parker, everybody know who Parker is, dude. And he let and, and and he thought it, to me he thought it was funny he he, he see a problem he I see pictures of him laughing at it he he had a good time before he went in the ground joining his wife his late wife and nobody ain't saying nothing about this stuff they made the hawk a, a child a Oriental and, and so I don't know if they changed them back and all but they did they did a lot of changes but this is a while ago I'm, I'm not keeping up with that that shit I'm not keeping up with that shit I ain't gonna fuck a lot of you I'm not. But all I'm saying is, he laughed too. He laughed at every fucking fight. <laughs> he thought it was fucking funny. He said, "Yeah, he fucked everybody." Then he died and shit. And that's my opinion. That's what it's, this is. Stan of Stan got out of this world a motherfucking way. He sat back and watched shit like that happen to his shit and laughed and died. He said, "Fuck it, I don't care." And that's how he went out. That's in my opinion now. Because that was some crazy shit. And to this day they just did a Spider-Man movie. With a brother up there. They should have gave him his own. Superhero uniform. But to do something like. Then you got the video game. I don't think he's black in a video game. You got all these different Spider-Mans. He thought he thought Stan thought it was funny. He thought it was funny. And um. You know. Whatever. Whatever. Um. He got the right to do it. He's to create it. You see what I'm saying? He got the right to do it. He was more focused on himself. And what he want to be. You can still want. I still want to be a better artist. Even though I'm an artist. Getting back to the basic conversations. An artist is never, never satisfied. You know. Never satisfied. And that's just an artist's crawl that he has to deal with. A lot of people got mixed feelings about that. But Spider-Man is shit. And um, nobody gives a fuck because nobody's saying nothing about it. But I'm not watching. I fucking say something about it. That's some crazy fucking shit. If you all in Marvel and shit like that happen. That's some crazy fucking shit. But if y'all like it, that's a job. Whatever the fuck, dude. Whatever the fuck. Everybody silent fucking hell. The little girl with no mouth and shit. All around this motherfucker. And I don't like it. I don't give a fuck about the... Look, look, look now. I ain't gonna piss me off on this motherfucker now. Now, let's go to the next one. Understanding age is created. Now, now we get into the good shit. Now we get into the good shit. Which is... Uh, 
That's what I'm about to look. H8. H8. Understanding ages created. Which is 8. Number 8. On your screen. Number 8. I am 49 years old. Do I look? Do I seem like a 49 year old, guys? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Come on. Tell the truth. Do I look like? Do I sound look like shit? Do I sound like a motherfucker that is 49 years old? No, I don't. Cause you know why? I do what I want to do. You see, and that's how it works. That's how Rashid works. Like like Jeff Goldblum voices shit. Yeah, Jeff Goldblum and shit. See, that's how it works, you see. That's uh, that, <laughs> that's how it works. I do what the fuck I want to do. <laughs> and nobody can do nothing about it. You see, <laughs> that's how it works. See, if Rashid says he's 49, 49, 49, he can do what the fuck he want to do. And nobody can do nothing about it. <laughs> I, you know, I like this social media thing, Rashid. Jeff Goldblum and shit. Like that. Meaning, age is created. Guys, age is created. I don't see any Romans roaming the earth. But I would like to ask a Roman. I was going to say Caligula was ruled, was when Caligula was ruling. But I'm talking just a basic Caesar. Caligula was Caesar, but I'm talking about another Caesar. I would like to ask Caesar. Caesar, how old do when the person is a certain age, how do y'all know? What do y'all say? Because in this century right here, ever since the Renaissance or what have you, we say one years old, two years old, three years old, four years old. We use numbers and shit. You don't realize that we use numbers. You know, you don't realize that we actually use numbers to defy who we are and how we feel. Baby, I'm not going to be too deep. I'm not going to be too deep. And I know that I know these people listening aren't part of our cult. But I'm trying to make my fucking po- get my fucking point across how stupid this shit is here. Dude, that's a fucking number. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, and it's what's amazing about that is that numbers could take on different forms, almost like the schmoo on that goddamn Flintstone motherfucker shit. He could transform to every goddamn thing. The numbers are like the schmoo because you look at your age, and that's a number, and you see all this horrible shit for older person guys. But then you read in something with numbers and you don't see a goddamn thing. I think numbers are God. Maybe it's just a, a spiritual fucking thing. I don't know. You can feel numbers, though. That's what you're telling me? Because you're 40 or 50 or 60 or 30 years old, you can feel that number. But when you're reading something with a number, you don't feel shit. That's what you're telling me? Understanding Number eight is age is created by man. It's not mandatory. Adam and Eve lived over 400, 4,000 years before they died. And God told them they was going to die as soon as they ate the, as soon as they ate the forbidden fruit. God said, y'all ass going to die. Y'all ass, y'all did. But yet they still lived 400, 400, some, some a thousand years before they died. Dude. They ain't die right away. For over 400 some, some odd years before Adam and Eve died? Come now. What I'm trying to say is numbers are just something, the, the age thing there, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling that shit. I understand we get older, but it's some people that got gray hair at young age. It's some people that don't get gray hair when they get do it's all but just because you're an age number that doesn't defy anything is what I'm saying. I'm talking anything. If you're a certain way because you're older, or whatever, that's because you want to be that way. That you, that's what you want for yourself. But don't say it's that way. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Man have 
created the numbers to identify our length of time on this planet because that goes with the calendar and all of this other bullshit. Okay? Man created all of that. God didn't create that. Okay? It's just a way of us keeping track of how long we was on the earth. For what? It don't. It, it, it's. I just look, look, look. I ain't even gonna get into no kind of because it don't make completely. It don't. It, it's not geometrically. It's not. What's that word? Geometrically. It's. Not, it's just bullshit. It's just bullshit, dude. It's a number for Christ's sake. How long you been on the earth? But dude, in another country, their years are different. In, in different Amazon villages where well, their years are different. Why? Think about it, man. And not only that, you got the past to look towards. The, how do how you know that their days wasn't two suns? Like two days was one day in Egyptian days or when Egyptians ruled the world or, or the Greeks were. How you know it was? It? I mean, you don't know. We're going by what they do. And for me to take my whole life and my whole feelings and say, I know I'm going to do it because it's a natural thing, but I got to work on that. Understanding age is created by man. That's why I got to work on it. Or number eight. You understand? I hope you do. If you don't, then I don't know why the hell you... Well, anyway. Carry on. Now. Number nine. Which is I. After H is I. Number nine. Capital, capitalizing on my faults more. I have, I have to do that this year also. I have to. I have to. Well, it's kind of fair to say that about Stan Lee, you know, because I didn't ever go out. I said, Stan Lee, I'm going to look at an interview of what he said about this black Spider-Man. I, I didn't never do that. So I don't know what he said. I don't know. I don't know. But I know he was had a smile on his face and all, and all the way up to his death. And he saw his shit black Spider-Man. So I, I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. I'm going by what I'm seeing. But yeah, and still, you yeah. know. A black Spider-Man. I mean, that's, that's... I don't know how y'all... Uh, no, don't fuck, man. I got my memory of my Spider-Man the way the motherfucker do. And that's the end of that bullshit. No offense. I'm from the hood. And I, I don't play... I, don't, I think some some brothers the same fucking way, I bet. You got five, I don't know. They don't like it either. That's some crazy shit there, dude. That's, that's madness, but, you know. Capitalizing on my faults more makes me a better person. Anybody will agree to that if they're... Some people make mistakes and they got a hard time. Now, listen, listen. Hear me out. Some people make mistakes. And have a hard time of saying I'm sorry. Then you're going to turn around and make the same mistake again. And you're going to have a hard time saying I'm sorry all over again and shit. You see? <clears throat> That's something that needs to be worked on. Because it's hard to say. Sometimes like the song says it's hard for me to say I'm sorry. Yeah, and, and this stuff like this hard, it's hard, but everybody have faults. But can everybody admit their faults? It's very, it's a very, it's a, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's a very difficult thing to do. I have to work on my faults and say, okay, I made a mistake. You know, or I made a wrong decision. I have to, I can't just say, that and just forget about it. No, I want to dissect it. I want to go into why I did it. How I want to examine. Examine. What made me do that? How was what was I thinking when I did that? What was I thinking? What made me make the decision in the first damn place? What, what's going on here? And that way I can't repeat it. I can't repeat it. 
if I capitalize, that means highlight. That means focus on my faults. That way I can't repeat it. And not only that, I can learn from it. I can learn from it. Something that has to be worked on also. Something that's very important that I think will make a difference in my life and in my people's life around here. And by me doing it this way on Rashid's Wheel of Personality or RVT, it's helping me. It's really helping me. It's a new year. I want this year to be better than last year or just as good as last year. See, I have to be content. Like, like I said on number um, three. See, three on the screen. Number three. Be more satisfied. See, if I'm satisfied, I can say I want this year to be just as good as last year or better. You see the point? That way, if I say I want it to be better than last year, I want this year to be better than last year, and it's not better than last year, who's going to feel bad? Who's going to lose? Don't forget, this unforeseen occurrences come across everybody. We don't know what's going to happen in the next five minutes. So if I say I want this year to be better than last year, and it's not, who's going to who's going to feel bad? Okay, I don't want to feel bad. I don't want to feel bad. Capitalizing on my um, faults is number nine. That way I can at least make effort. I can at least make the effort to make it better than last year. If not, as number three brought out, be more satisfied. Just as good as last year. And that will make me a better man. That will make me a better person. And I'm always striving to be better. So I think that will be the wise thing to do for number nine. Capitalizing on my faults. But, and number ten, which is J, J10. Understanding people more. People don't like Rashid. Because Rashid is a nice person. I like nice things. I'm always silly. I like people smiling. And this makes me at odds with everybody. People think I got better life than them. I'm a spiritual person. So you can't compare your life to mine. That's number one. I'm a spiritual person. See, people feel better if they point their finger and say, that person over there is better than me. It's an excuse for you, not only to feel sorry for yourself, but for you not to make no real changes. You say, why bother? That guy's better. See, it's an excuse for yourself. You know, you could be a celebrity and still say, I don't want to act no more. You could be a singer and say, I don't want to sing no more. You know why? Because it's work, you see. It's work. And who likes to work just to be better? In that case, the world be full. The gyms will be full all over the world because everybody exercising and lifting weights because they want to feel better about themselves. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? See, nobody don't want to take the time out to do it. It's work. So it's easy for you to sit on your fat ass and look at Rashid and say, he's better than me or whatever like that. I hate his ass. He thinks everything's nice and then this and that and this. You come up with all these excuses of hating me when guess what? That's all on you. That's your fault, not Rashid's fault. That's your fault. Because you choose to do what you do. You're choosing to think how you think. You're acting the way you want to act. How you want to act. That's your fault, not mine. So I'm, un I understand that. And I'm not going to hate you back. I'm not going to. If you want to hate, hate. I'm not going to live my life that way. Because it clouds my thinking. I can't stay focused on creating. I can't stay focused on writing. I can't stay focused on nothing. 
if I'm hating all the goddamn time. Now I realize that I'm gonna come across situations. I'm gonna say I hate this. I hate that person. Whatever. Fuck. But it clouds my thinking. If I'm going around being bitter about somebody, I can't focus. So I had to understand why people don't like me. Oh, I understand because I understand what position you're in. You got some vendetta that's personal or something. Because I didn't do nothing to you. Not a fucking thing. In fact, I don't even know you. And if I do know you or whatever, something happened, happened, you ain't coming forward to work it out with me to make peace. So it looks like, look like something personal to me. So I understand it. I have to, I have to, instead of pointing my finger, I understand it. Instead of a, a, a subscriber unsubscribe me, I hate that. So understand what they might, they might got bashed upside the fucking head. If I go to my channel and shit, no, no, let me say this. Let me say this. If I go to my channel and I see somebody unsubscribe me or whatever, and I get pissed off, I will look like a dickhead. Let me animate it. And show it to you, okay? Let me show it to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. You asked me, sweet. Yeah, okay. I'm going to my Google page and check out and just look around. Hey, sweetie, somebody just unsubscribed me. I can't stand on motherfuckers, man. I wish I knew who it was. So I could just go back and tell them, you know what? I don't know why you're a dumbass. You're a fucking dumb. Why did you subscribe to me in the first place? Because you're stupid. I can't stand your ass. You know what? If I had known you was going to subscribe me, I would have blocked you for my fucking shit to begin with. you just a stupid ass. I can't stand it. these unsubscribing motherfuckers. Now, this is what happened to the unsubscriber. What's this right here on your computer? Oh, that's why she's the R man. And you subscribe to him? Yeah, because I like him. Where? What the fuck? Where? Didn't I tell you don't subscribe unless I tell you to subscribe? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take it the fuck off. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, next time you do that, I'm gonna break your fucking whole pain for this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And yet, I'm over here. Saying, I hate that son of a bitch. I can't stand these unsubscribing motherfuckers, man. You see the point? I don't know why they unsubscribe me, dude. And neither do you and nobody else. We don't know their situation, dude. We don't know what they've been through. We don't know what they're going through. We don't know. I don't know. Now, I'm over here saying, I hate the motherfuckers. I'll punch him in the fucking face if I saw him walking down the street. What if I see a dad about him? Jesus, this motherfucker might as well be the elephant man. Right or wrong? You don't know the reason for shit. If you don't know shit, shut the fuck up. If you don't know shit, shut up. And that's what I got at work on. If I don't know the back story about shit, shut the fuck up. If I don't know something, dude, if I don't know something, and, and social media is huge. Social media is huge, dude. If I don't know something, then I got to teach myself to shut up until I know the facts. And that's not going to be easy to do. That's going to be hard to do. I have to understand people. I don't know the reason why they feel that way about me. They hate my sheet. I don't know the reason why they don't like me or like me. When I don't know. I have to accept that. I have to understand people more. I'm going to try to do my best to share with that. That's why I gotta, That's what I, I'm going to work on. And there are my 10 New Year changes. Yours too, sweetie. Yours too. Yours too, sweetie. Yours too. They, they're our 10. Our 10 New Year changes that we have to make. And hopefully they will be a success. All we can do is try. Because we're, we're son of a bitches. And uh, 
Even though we try, somehow it always come out. I, I mean, uh, I was about to say something about y'all making cakes. <laughs> Bacon and cake, but that's okay. Even though we try, sometimes it's just... <laughs> y'all big footy. You gotta walk easy when you're baking a cake. And y'all stomp around the fucking house. And, um, you know, you gotta... You know, even though we try, sometimes we still come off... Uh, I want a green thumb for the garden. And you got a uh, blue thumb uh, for some reason. Actually, it is a blue thumb for something. I, for I just forgot what it is. They had a commercial in the 80s. Huh. They had a commercial. You know, fail diets, fail attempts, stop smoking, fail, fail, fail. That's who we are. And we got to get over that and do the best we can. As, as much as we try to do the best we can. But we have to try. And thank you guys so much for coming here and listening to me. Like I said, I have some shows coming up. We're going to have a lot of fun. And let's continue on with the excitement around RVT. And I'll be talking to you guys later with another 10 things. I don't know what it is because I have no idea what they're going to be about. But we're going to discuss them. And I want you to sit in. So, until then, I'll be talking to you guys later. And have a very rich, plentiful new year. Because... 2019, we are here. See ya.